up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Odi J and we're locked in. This is what's next for Power Book 4, Episode 8. Now, Episode 7, it was a good one. It was more of a build-up episode, and we got to see that Jannard is trying to branch out and do his own thing. We also seen that Claudia, she's putting the work out on the street, and Tommy wasn't really with that because he has a plan on how he wants to expand. Of course, she wanted to do her own thing, and this may backfire because now the drug is on the street before the finished product is really ready to go. Now, before we jump into this trailer, shout out to the notification gang. If you're new to the channel, you want to be a part of it, hit the subscribe button, turn your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Hit that like button, it's the easiest thing you can do. Now, this is a short clip. These trailers normally are. We should get some exclusive clips later on in the week, but right here is really primarily focused on Tommy and Claudia with her dad. So let's jump into it. This is what's next for Power Book 4, Episode 8. So what's your number? 55 a brick. How we know it's the same quality? Because I don't move no trash. You know, I'm thinking that we need another cook. And who you trust enough here in Chicago to bring in? That is the million dollar question. My father will do everything he can to take this from me. You gotta protect what's yours. Whatever you're into, I'm gonna crush up. You and Gloria gotta go. Like I was saying, this clip is very, very short, but it does give us some insight on what we can expect. You see Miss Soto, that's the first person that Tommy came into the city and moved a brick for. Now, last time we seen Liliana come and talk to her, she gave her the key saying, hey, there's a locker that you need to go and there's some new product in there. So what Miss Soto wants to know is how does she know that this is the same product that she had that first time? And Tommy, he's saying pretty much, you could take my word. I don't put out no BS. So hey, if you want it, it's 55 a brick. Now you remember he sold his bricks to diamond for 38,000. These are going for 55 a brick. So that just lets you know how good this is gonna be in the streets. So what's your number? 55 a brick. How we know it's the same quality. Cause I don't move no trap. Hey, once you get the word from Tommy, it's like, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and rock with it. Now he set it up. He has a good little operation going. We can go in and out of the center go into the lockers, check right on out. Now this is good, but you're not gonna have Miss Soto or uh, what was his name, Mio Show, the, the Jewish people. You're not gonna have the head of the organization going in there and get it. But Tommy's letting them know, you got my word on this being a high quality product. You know, I'm thinking that we need another cook. And who you trust enough here in Chicago to bring in? That is the million dollar question. Now Tommy wants to bring in another cook. Million. That's because the chemist, she's out here on dates, and is she going to be able to keep up with the quantity that they need made, especially if they're selling them for 55? And this drug is going to be exclusive going straight through Tommy and Claudia. So you're going to need a lot of people working on this. And also, we don't know if we can trust Claudia moving forward, especially with her dad leaving those two goons out there. You see what I'm saying? So Tommy is trying to have a backup plan in case something, you know, basically is a, a fail safe, meaning if something goes wrong, we can get rid of this cook and we already have someone that's prepared to make us more batches. Another question. My father will do everything he can to take this from me. You gotta protect. Now Walter, he's already, he's at the limit right now. He's into it with the serves because of his son. He already doesn't want his daughter Claudia out in the streets. She folded up when the FBI came. She wasn't there. So he doesn't feel that she's ready. And we know he wants to use his pipeline to move pills, even though that's the old fashioned way. And she has Dahlia now. He knows that she's up to something. He knows that she's working behind his back. That's why she's not around to handle the books like she normally did. So when she says that my dad's gonna do everything he can to stop this, of course he doesn't want her moving drugs. But then on top of it, Tommy Egan. The very first episode, he told Tommy Egan to get up out the city. Then he found out that Tommy and his son were doing things. So he already has a vendetta against Tommy. And now his daughter, not only is his son partnered up with Tommy and messing with Gloria, even though he doesn't want her to, you got Claudia, your daughter, messing with the same white boy. What's yours? Whatever you're into, I'm gonna crush her. You and Gloria gotta go. Now, Tommy told Gloria and our boy Vic that they need to go. We didn't see Gloria in episode seven. She left a note saying she needed to separate herself from him. So I don't know if she's gonna come back this week, but whatever's going on, Tommy is saying you're gonna have to get low. Now this could be because of Walter trying to come at Gloria or Gloria's into some other stuff. 
And right here we see, I think this is Jannard. It's either Jannard or Diamond, but they're trying to rob the Jewish people because you remember Jannard got a hold of some of the drug Dahlia from the stripper, well, from one of the Claudia's workers at the strip club. So it looks like they're out here trying to steal stuff because they don't know who's actually putting it on the street. All we know is that the Jewish people, they have a connect. Miss Soto, they have a connect. So Jannard or Diamond, they're trying to figure out who this, hey, who got it? Where you getting that from? So it looks like it's going to be an interesting episode. I'm definitely looking forward to it. We didn't have too much action in this episode. We did have Marshall versus D-Mac. But it's looking like, hey, episode 8, that's where it, hey, it's going to pick up. 8, 9, and 10 is going to give us that cliffhanger before we go on a long extended six-month break. So let me know what you all think about it. I'm Modi J. If you like the content on the channel, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you tune in tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern, for the live after show discussion for Power Book 4, Episode 7. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on the beat, boy.